Jane is her maiden name and Wilson is her married name. See, you were smart, you dropped it. I should have dropped my middle name and just did. Just did Marissa Monique Gavino Ignacio. Instead of Marissa Monique and Gavino Ignacio. Don't you want the whole name? Too much. Don't you have the same middle name as your mom? I do. And Aubrey has her middle name as Anne as well. Really? Mm -hmm. Aubrey Ann. Do you guys want to know what my middle name is? I know it. Of course. Guess what his middle name is, guys. I'll give you a, a little hint. It starts with the letter A as well. Geez, thanks for ruining the surprise, Marisa. Well, there's so many A names. Let's we'll see. And my name is not Maximilian, actually. A lot of people think it is, but it's not. Or Maxwell. It's just Max. It's just On Max. On your birth certificate, it just says Max, right? Yep. My dad's name is also just Max. Because it's like maybe Maximiliano, Maximilian, Maxwell. My dad has a really crazy German middle name though. Okay. Alex, Albert, Antonio. No, no, and no. Keep guessing. My dad's middle name is German. They His mom's name is German too. They would never guess your dad's middle name. Because it's German? It's hard to say. Because my dad, you know, was born a long time ago, like a hundred years ago. I'm very old school Catholic, so the day you were born, that saint is the name you got on the Catholic calendar. So he was born the day of Saint Antelmo. Ooh, bad gal meme got it. Alan. It's right. Alan. Did she spell it the same? She didn't. She, she spelled it A-L-L-E-N. It's A-L-L-E-N. It's right? Alan, yeah. A-L-A-N? My name is Max Allen. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Is it double L or just one? Double, I think. I don't know. Eight. I have to see my passport. <laughs> uh, yeah, Max Allen. My what dad's middle name is Antelmo. And your dad's is, what is it? Antelmo. Antelmo. And my dad's mom, my grandmother on my paternal side, her name was Buenaventure. Buenaventura. Buenaventura, which I think is German. Ooh, Jojo, don't say that out loud. What? I am not. No, that is incorrect, actually. He's 100. I am 100, actually. And Max Antelmo is 300. As old as time. <laughs> Name the movie. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your dad's name is beautiful. It's very poetic. My mom was uh was like we're not naming the baby that because my dad has four other children, five other children, and none of them have the same name as him. The whole name. So you were going to be the last one and the only junior? Yeah. And mom was like we're not naming our son Antelmo. Like sorry. Not happening. What if, um, so when you're growing up, did they call you Junior or did they just call you Alan? No, they just called me Max. What, what about your dad? Max and Telmo. Would, you ever, would they ever call him and you would think they're calling you? No. Because you can tell the difference? Mm hmm. My dad is Jose, right? Francisco. Mm -hmm. Like my grandpa. So my grandpa, my dad, my brother, and my nephew. But they all have different names. Like, so they have the same legal name ish. So, like, so my my grandpa goes by Frank for mm -hmm. Francisco. My dad goes by Jose, but just recently he started going by Francisco. I'm like, who are you? Like, you can't just change your name like that. Like, we've called you Jose your whole life, and now you're Francisco. My brother goes by Joey for you know for Jose, and then the younger one, the nephew, goes by Jojo. Wow, that's a lot. Before. The name lives on. So now we're going to go with one cut of nail crab and one cut of primer. My Antonia says my uncle is Anthony and we were always known as Big T Little T. That's cute. I like that. Hola Max. Hola. So now we're playing one cut of nail prep. Balance out and dehydrate the nail bed. And then one cut of primer.
you guys ready for Christmas next week? Finish your shopping. I can't believe it's already here. The year is finally over. Coming to a close. I'm pretty I'm sure take we're off all this happy to again. say goodbye to it. We're all ready to say goodbye to it. Does anybody know the song for the new year? Like that song that you're supposed to sing? What song? When it's the new year, there's a song that goes. They play it in Times Square. I wonder if there's going to be anything at Times Square this year. Any festivities going on in the Times Square? You know, they closed, they canceled Winter Haven this year. Mm -hmm. And so, like, houses were like, decorating their houses super duper, like, Christmas spirity. And I guess HOA is, like, fining these people because their lights are, I guess, over the top. Really? It's like, get in the Christmas spirit. No, it's against HOA. We can't do anything, so let us decorate our house in peace. And they're like, no, it's against HOA. People would come by, like, it's all over Facebook. People are going by and, like, checking the houses out. Here in Tucson? Yeah. Over on the river. It's against HOA. Thank you. So now we're going to roll the nails a little bit more so that way they get a tighter C curve so it fits her nail better. Magic City in the house! She knows me all too well. What's Magic City? We don't know what Magic City is, really. Tell me. Oh my gosh, in the ATL. Oh, ATL. Magic City is a very famous strip club. Really? An institution, I like to call it. <laughs> My name is Marissa. Um, okay, so what if you have someone who has messed up nail beds, like nail biters or flat nail beds? Everyone I see you do have pretty nail beds. That's not true. Jeez, Max. What? <laughs> no. How would you address the situation? You would probably use a shape that's not sculpted. And then apply more press-on gel on the natural nail to build it up so that way the, na the nail fits better as well too. And then put press-on gel, turn the hand upside down, and seal the inside as well too. So right now what I'm doing is I'm rolling the nail, almost bending it, okay? So that way it fits her nail better. These are little tricks of the trade. Instagram is blowing up. We're going to do our express technique. Put press on gel on the inside. Well, hello to you. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you. I hope you are as well. And then we're going to freeze with Miss Flashy. It's a strip club, she said. Yes, that is correct. It is an institution. Not just a strip club, but an institution. When you were growing up, what was your Christmas tradition for like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day? What you guys would always do? My mom would work. So both of my parents worked in the salon. Your dad worked in the salon too? Yeah, he was a cashier. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. So you guys were always open on Christmas Eve? Mm-hmm. Then we day? would go, yeah, we would go home, have dinner, open presents, and the next day we would just chill. Would you stay up till midnight? No. That's what we would always do is growing up, we would stay up till midnight on Christmas Eve and then wake up in the morning and then open presents with my mom. And then go back to my grandma's house for some menudo. Or sometimes we would go visit my mom's family, mm -hmm. but we would leave either like Christmas Eve and then go visit them and then stay for like a day or two. Did they live far? Yeah, four hours. In Hermosillo. Everyone said I just did this technique the other day on my client. I love it. Isn't it so much faster and easier? As Anna Nicole Smith would say, freaking genius. Aubrey didn't know who Anna Nicole Smith was. And I was like, that's the Texas Cinderella, Aubrey. Well, did, when, when would, did she pass away? And Nicole Smith a while ago. How old is Aubrey? Twenty something. Young twenties or mid twenties? I'm not sure. Probably young twenties. She doesn't know who she is. Sometimes I'll be playing like Factory Boys or like In Sync or you know whatever, and Kelsey will come in the office and she's like, "What song is this? I don't even know who this is." <laughs> 
<laughs> and you were just appalled. And she just really ages me, and she's like 22. So, maybe she just doesn't know. I'm not an Ariana Grande fan, and that makes me feel old. You're not? No. I don't really like her either, only some of her songs. I feel like she's kind of overrated. Don't come for me. Do you guys like Ariana Grande? We're so close to the giveaway. We're only about 40 views away. If we reach 150 views, Marissa's going to pick a winner, winner, chicken dinner for a giveaway today. Wouldn't that be exciting, you guys? Like and share the video. Post it in your favorite group. Let's win something for Christmas, guys. Or Hanukkah. Hanukkah's going on right now. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made it out of clay. A dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. A dreidel I will play. Just her ballerina set on Tuesday. Fab. What designs do you do? Hundred and fifty. Right now was one one ten. Okay, let's see. I agree. I like some of her songs, but not all of them. Ari. Um, Ariana Grande. Yeah. Her brother was the host of some award show. The one I was nominated for. Oh, that's right. Mm. Frankie. He looks like he's on something. Frankie Grande. Is he really her brother? Yeah. They look nothing alike. He's really tan, like orange. I think it's like makeup. Orange makeup? You're like, can I be the color of an Oompa Loompa? <laughs> Excuse me, where's the Oompa Loompa color, please? Point me in the direction. <laughs> what about NKOTV? What's that? New Kids on the Block. Oh, I like New Kids on the Block. Oh, oh, oh. She's she said, got the right stuff. She did simple glow in the dark collagen. Nice. Cuteness. I like your light. Thank you. Look at that, you guys. They just look so pretty like that, too. Step by step. Baby. Gone again to you, girl. Step by step. Didn't one of them die? No. Oh, no. One of them came out of the closet, though. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. Are any of you guys Star Wars fans in this chat? The original Bubble Fett passed away today and it's so sad. I know Antonia is. Antonia Baby Woman. Like Star Wars? Baby Woman nails for real. Super short. Kids on the block are alive. I thought someone had passed away. Maybe that's a different group. The original Death Vader also passed away. That is true. Yeah, I remember that. I remember seeing that. Okay, now let's bake this for one minute. It's time to say goodbye. It's been a hard year for the Star Wars fans. Cause like we lost Chewie not long ago. Leia not the new trilogy ago. is terrible. It's okay. For real, he is in Palumpa color. And that award show, oh my god, I'm going to sound so shady, but it was really cringy. It was so unnatural. Like, those people don't know how to host a TV show or whatever. Don't, didn't you agree, Marissa? I didn't watch it. Didn't just, you see parts of it? And I it was just, very cringy. I just saw, like, the highlights of it. I don't know who that girl is. What's her name? Candy Thomas or... I don't know who that host is. I guess she's, like, a makeup artist or something, but I don't, I don't like how she conducts the show. How did she do it? Just very forced. Like they're trying to be like very like hip and cool with all this lingo and it just comes off as very unnatural because you can tell they're reading a script. Jonathan of New Kids of the Block came out of the closet. Yes. Like recently? 
No, it's been a while, I think. Was it not obvious back then? I don't know. I wasn't alive. <laughs> then you the whole blah. I was born in 1999. Who was born in 1999, Lena? Was it Chandler? No, he was 2000 and he was, no, he was 2001 because he wasn't all born when, when 9-11 uh, happened. I, like, also, you learned about 9-11 in school. <laughs> I'm so old. See you tomorrow. Bye. And I've told you before, Sam didn't know who Destiny's Child was. Really? I was like super offended. How old is she? 18. 19? She just turned 19. She came in like with this really cute camo outfit and it just really reminded me of the Survivor music video. I I'm like, a survivor. Yeah. I'm and I was like, that's what you look like. And she's and like, what are you talking about? I'm going to record her. I actually, uh don't like Beyonce that much. I like Kelly Rowland. Me too. I, I like, I like them, but I just feel like, um, Beyonce is always like the one that's always like, oh my of God. Of course, her dad was the manager of the group. He was always going to push his daughter. Yeah. But I think Kelly Rowland has a better body. She sings really pretty too. I like the song Motivation. Motivation? Mm -hmm. Have you heard the one that's called Like This? I told y'all I was gonna bump like this. But y'all no. didn't think that I could bump like this. No? <laughs> no. That's a good song. It's Kelly Rowland. So we're gonna go in with the new seven piece drill bit set. Sawadee Cobb! Michelle says it wasn't obvious. She was so in love with Jonathan. Man, oh man, I'm still heartbroken. <laughs> Hi from Thailand. Hi, Sawadee Cobb! So we're gonna use the this bit, the long bit from the new pink diamond drill bit set to go in and blend in that cuticle. Like when my boy Lance came out, I thought that was obvious. I didn't think mm -hmm. I called that like a long time ago. But, I mean, I just remember Lance from not having really any talent because he never really sang. Vocals. Did you forget your phone? No. Oh, your water. Did you get your present? Out of Carrie. Yeah. Eve was in that song. I got you. See, Danae knows what's up. That is a good song. That's what happened to Eve? Friend. I know she got married, but I haven't seen her in a while. Hi, Lena. Just out of curiosity, why are you using a full male instead of a tip? Because these are ones you go full, soft gel, full cover nails. Exactly, it's the way of the future. Welcome to the future. We're, uh, we're not doing any acrylics. Can you put acrylic on top of these? No need. And I guess if you wanted to, maybe you could. You don't need to though. But Defeats the purpose. Extra work, no? Did you know Michelle Williams was on that show that me and Danny used to watch? Which um, one? Uh, what, are, what was it called? Mask or whatever? Mask Singer? Yeah, Mask Singer. Poor Michelle Williams. She was a butterfly, I think, on that. She, she was, was just singer. a glorified backup singer. They really did her wrong. Poor Michelle voice. Williams. Very raspy. Very soulful. Like. She does gospel, though. I do like one Beyonce song though. Which one? 7 Eleven. That's a good one. Lemonade. Never heard it. No? Mm mm. I like some of her stuff, not everything. I'm not like one of the Beehive members or anything, but I do occasionally listen to her. She's from H Town too. Mm hmm. Look at that. So seamless. So that? flawless. Where are the TLC members from? I think Atlanta. Georgia. Okay. 
So now we're going to go in with the purple buffer. Remove the shine off the nail. Okay, so this lady says, I ran out of primer and already have placed an order for three more bottles until they come. Can I use regular primer until mine comes in? No, it would probably melt it too much. Because acid primer might be too, too strong. You could probably use acetone and scrub the inside really well. Hi from Albuquerque. Hi from Albuquerque. Just be careful when using acetone. Have you ever been to Albuquerque? I have. I've driven through there. What's it like? Really? Like, they have, you know, it's a bigger than Tucson? Maybe a little bit. Really? Yeah, just a little bit. Kind of like, it kind of, it's like a in-between of Phoenix and here. Like, um, traffic wise like their freeway is a little bigger. There's more lanes. These are many sculptured almonds. So Hi from Canada. Bonjour. Speaking the blingification. I actually drove through there when I moved back home from Colorado. Did you stop there or no? No, I stopped in Las Lunas. I think that's what it's called. Socorro, New Mexico. Socorro? Mm -hmm. Do you know what Socorro means in Spanish? Mm. SOS. Help? <laughs> yes. It's like a really small little place. Like I don't know why people would live there. And then there's a place in New Mexico that's called Truth or Consequence. Really? Yeah. Truth, truth or Consequence truth New Mexico? Truth or Consequence in New Mexico. And it's like, I saw a documentary and there was like a bunch of like, uh, of a serial killer that lived there. And he was like keeping women from the bar. So that place always freaked me out. Because of the name and then the serial killer documentary. Gotta so be careful. Sounds exciting. <laughs> Hi, Grease. Chili peppers everywhere when you go to New Mexico. I wonder what the national flower of New Mexico is. A green chili. Santa Fe was pretty because it was like very like um Southwestern? A little bit, but then um more towards like the northern part of it. There's some really pretty like mountain and trees. It's very foresty. Really? Very pretty. Yeah. Going towards um, Colorado. Isn't this color beautiful, you guys? It's so rich. Thinking of moving to Phoenix to be closer to my granddaughter, but I'll miss the snow here in Washington State. Phoenix is hot. Hotter than us. And it's a very spread out city. Because they're in the valley is why I heard it gets hotter there. Because all the heat goes into the bottom. There's a lot of concrete in Phoenix, too. And it's very fast paced. There's like too many freeways for me. Do you think it's very fast paced? Yeah. People drive faster there than they do here. That's like the number one thing my dad likes about it. <laughs> they do drive faster. There's a, like, there's the 10, the 17, the 202. Like there's too many freeways yeah. for me. Phoenix has a good um freeway system versus Tucson. I wish we had one. Like. We only have one freeway, you guys. Freeway. Well, no, we have aviation. Oh yeah, it's like three blocks. But there's a lot of stuff to do in Phoenix too. How do you guys like this lighting too? I'm using alt light. I'm a huge alt light fan as well too because it's pure white light. It's less strain on the eyes. Is your mom gonna push this quickly? Probably not. This color, I can't get over it. Especially with my dad. It's too much work. She would want to have either like Puerto Rican food or Cuban food, but there is none in Tucson anymore. We used to have one Cuban restaurant called El Cubanito and it closed.
It's a thing of the past. I love me some Cuban food. Hold on, you guys. Sorry. What I need to skip this. I need to download the ad blocker for YouTube. Because I'm not going to pay for premium. Premium is more expensive than Disney Plus. Can you believe that? Really? really fattening. But they're so good. So, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm going to Florida. And the struggle of weight loss is real. Like, it's... it's very it takes forever to lose weight, but to gain it just takes one day. One simple mistake. <laughs> and then you're back at 544 pounds. It's like that Brian Knight song. One. You're back at square one. <laughs> Yes, weight is no joke, you guys. She is not fun. She is not a nice mistress. So we're going to use our paper flowers and sunflower today. Oops. My favorite sunflower. You should make a song called Sunflowers. It's Post Malone already did. It's called Sunflower. Really? Yeah. Some of my favorite things. Sunflower and Post Malone. Remember Annika used to say her boyfriend used to look like Post he Malone? He looked nothing like Post Malone and that's such a weird thing that she would say. And she was proud of it too. I mean, maybe if Post Malone was... I don't bald. Know, bald and creepy looking, then... Annika was a girl that used to work for you guys and it was funny too because she was like, my boyfriend speaks Japanese. I was like, really? She was like, yeah, he's fluent. He is an expert in the Japanese language. He comes in and Max starts talking to him and he has like no idea what's going on. Pretty much. Way to oversell it, Anika. He came in and I was like, oh, Nihongo chose this call. And he was like, what? I was like, Anika told me you speak the Japanese. And he's like, no, I don't. And she was like, well, maybe he lost like practice. And I was like, you don't lose practice when it comes to a language. You never forget that. Let's make that 30 seconds. And that's like saying I forgot to speak English this morning. Crazy Daisy. Crazy Daisy. The name of that color we use precious minerals number 156 for the brown and number one for the silver gold leaf. Oh 159, sorry. Max, I literally binge watch your videos every day. Thank you. Love the colors. That coverage, that glitter gives me diamond shine vibe. So take a piece of plastic, nothing fancy or particular, and press down against the paper flower so that way it sits on the nail better. Oh, I think I pressed that one too hard. So chilly. She worked early with Ringling Brothers clowns and trained them. That's pretty cool. We like that circus. Which one? The Ringling Brothers. Circus. I don't think it's around anymore, is it? I don't know, but I used to go when I was little. So I'm going to take this as fun gel number 56. I'm going to use my Sailor Magic Detailed Brush. I'm just going to add a little bit of glitter. My salad that I had left over for lunch. It's a massive salad, but it's actually not that great. It's from Bison Witches, and it was basically a salad version of nachos. What? Yeah, that's what it was like pretty much. Nachos? Salad. Yeah. <laughs> that's not my salad, nacho salad. And the potato soup was really heavy. Maybe it had too much cream. Okay, let's bake that. 
Like Too much cheese. Cheese is not good for you after having gastric bypass. Really? Cheese is the enemy. And broccoli. And broccoli, yeah. What about asparagus? Do you not eat that either? Oh, I eat asparagus. Never. Mm hmm. I enjoy asparagus. It's nature's diuretic. That sounds good, actually. No <laughs> <Joe> salad. <laughs> she said, OMG, that gold. There's 12 colors in that collection as well, too, you guys. If you check it out. I can't remember what collection it is. I think it's... Oh, it's the Gem Hologram Collection that are all super, super heavy, um, super pigmented colors. Cheese is a binder and broccoli is a gassy food. That's right. Two things that are bad for me. Or anything with carbonation as well, too. Neither of which are good for bypass. These hurt my feelings. Cheese is the ending. I know. I feel personally attacked, Gina. I love me some cheese. I do miss broccoli though. Everything that's good for you is always, everything that tastes good is always bad for you. You can't have like any broccoli, like you have to have like, what would happen if you had like the slightest little bit of- I get really bad um, cramps. Really? And I get really bloated because the gas has nowhere to go. Soda, I feel like I'm having a heart attack. So that you don't drink soda? Nope. Often. Ever. Oh. Ever, ever, ever. Let's make that 30 seconds because we're going to need two coats of shiny on top of the paper flowers. Cheese is the enemy. <laughs> but I do enjoy cheese though. But then I suffer the consequences. But right now I'm trying to cut back on sodium, on cheese, on dairy, all that stuff because I gotta look good for my students in Florida. I gotta li I gotta um gotta give the fantasy. <laughs> Marissa's like your face looks like you're wearing a filter. It does. She's like your skin is so smooth. It's so great. And I was like, that's the retinol. It's so dry though. Some, Some good retinol too. She's like, my retinol's not working. I was like, that's because it's not the good kind. You gotta shell out the big bucks for the good retinol. I want my face to look like a filter. And good retinol is not that expensive. It's like 60 bucks maybe. Okay, now we can bake it for one minute. I feel bad buying a $10 face wash. But retinol does so much. It gets rid of pores, it gets rid of acne. I have not had a single breakout since I've been on retinol. But it thins out your skin and it makes you super dry and flaky. Do you use it every day or every other day? Uh, depends. I think this is gonna be my last week on the retinol. Um, not till I get back from Florida because I don't want to be dry and flaky in Florida. My student's going to be like, Max, why is your skin peeling off your face? <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, someone has copied the beat of a certain Cindy Lauper song. Oh, who? Girl always splurge on the skin. I know. I've That's been, right. I've been Listen little, to her. Little by little, I've been buying more stuff like for my face. And you don't have to shell out and buy La Mer or La Paris, but you know, sixty dollars for for a good cream that's really gonna make a difference in your routine is worth it. I don't know. It's just like the mom guilt in here with like the use this for something else. We're gonna do the thumb just thirty seconds. In the background, you can hear it. Maybe it's like a Cindy Lauper vapor wave. It sounds like we're like in a neon mall in the 80s, doesn't it, kind of? <laughs> She's like, you know my skincare? No makeup. She told me she uses e.l.f. sometimes. Thank you. I like their brushes. Do you know what e.l.f. stands for? Eyes, lips, face. So remember, after the hand comes out of the lamp, we're gonna wait 10 seconds. And then apply our oil. I wanna try Tula, because I've heard good things about it. You need to use Obagi, stop beating around the bush. And buying- It's also expensive. 
sensitive. And buying secondhand products. It's not. They have great reviews for people who have sensitive dry skin. You don't have to put it back in. It's dry already. Love it. Well, there you guys have it. Look at that. Come through baby woman realness. See, Antonio said I used to use what was cheapest, mostly wet and wild. Brush. I use. Oh, I use. See, I like wet and wild brushes too. Really? Synthetic brushes don't blend out that well though. What's good from wet and wild? I'm trying to think. I guess there are, some of their eyeshadows are cute. Yeah, I like the glitters. They do. I have heard good things about their highlighters. So cute, so simple. The nail polish is like a bow, super kawaii. My bad. Look at those little paper flowers. So They're so short. They're beautiful. So <laughs> but that's gonna wrap it up for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little demo. I love you guys. Don't forget to visit enocouture.com. Take advantage of that same day shipping, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody. Bye.